have been singing and screaming about provincial treatment of people who come from privileged backgrounds, who are well-connected politically and otherwise, get into these institutions and turn these institutions into a mockery. We, in fact, for a few months decided no more to talk about these things because it has all fallen on deaf ears. Now that we are now talking about the water close to scandal date, it becomes headline news. We South Africans must wake up to the reality that we are here to try and rectify the mistakes that was inherited not only from an apartheid department of prisons, but also from a department of correctional services that goes on and on as if these institutions must be left to be playing grounds for those who are privileged. Mr. Budu, could, from a legal standpoint, could you tell us what constitutes special treatment and what is considered exercise privileges, normal types of behavior or privileges that other prisoners would also have access to while in jail? Well, we tried for many years to try and get access to the Department of Correctional Services to train offenders and correctional officers to distinguish between a privileged and a right. We were kept away. The prisoners do have rights. Prisoners do have privileges, and you need to distinguish the two. But because these institutions, the Department of Correctional Services, is a law unto themselves, they act above the law. They are, a, they are in fact, doing it with impunity. People will never distinguish between their rights and their privileges until such time the fan hits the F-A-N-T. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.